Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. So today what I'm going to be showing you is how you can get the value of URL parameters in Node.js. So URL parameters are just data that can be included at the end of a regular URL in query string format. So starting with a question mark followed by the data in key value format with each bit of data separated by an ampersand. So I'll be making a request on the front end to localhost port 3000 or slash page and it is a request to that endpoint that I am handling here and you'll notice that I'm using the get method on app which is an express app so first of all I'm going to show you the solution using express and then afterwards how you can do it with pure node.js so if you are using express like we are here then it's very straightforward to get all of the parameters in object format because they are stored there on the request object in that format by Express already. So all you need to do to access that is access the query property on the request object. So that is it for object format. You don't have to do any more work. Now, if you want the parameters back in array format, then what you can do is wrap rec.query inside an object method that is going to convert it to an array. So if you pass it into object.entries, what that is going to give you is an array of arrays where each embedded array contains two items, which are the key and the value of each of the URL parameters. If you just want a simple array of the values, then you can call object.values. A simple array of just the keys would be object.keys. So I'll put that back to entries so that we have all of the data. Now, finally, if you want to get the value of an individual parameter, let's say parameter two here, then it's quite straightforward because we already have all of the parameters in object format on rec.query. So all we have to do is to access the property with the key E2, and that's going to return to us the value of that property. So let's test this now. Good practice, I'm going to end the request after I have extracted the URL parameters so I don't leave the browser hanging. And now in the terminal, I did already CD into my project folder. So I can already go ahead and run node. The name of the JS file that I'm working in here is express. So that should be up and running now on port 3000. I already have the request here. So all I need to do is to refresh. So I don't see anything in the browser. I log to the console, so the result is in the terminal. So here I have all of the parameters, first in object format, then as an array of arrays, and then finally the value of the parameter with the key value of key two. Okay, so this is how you can get parameter values if you're using Express in Node.js. Now I'll show you how you can get exactly the same result using pure Node.js. So in Node.js, the first thing you want to do is to pass the URL into constituent parts. And you can do that with the help of the URL or module or node. So you still need to import it at the top of your script. And then you can pass the URL into parts by calling URL pass and then passing into it rec.url. And you want to set the second argument here to true because that's going to return the parameters in object format. So I'll save a reference to the object that this returns with information about the URL on it. And then I want to check if the path name property is equal to forward slash page. If it is, then it means that the request is coming through to the endpoint where we want to get the URL parameters. So in terms of actually getting those in the various formats, it's very similar to the previous solution. The only difference is instead of getting the query object containing the parameters directly on the request object, we have to get it on the object that returned from URL.pass. So when you're using Node.js, you have to go through this additional step and remember to set this argument to true so that it's in object format. Now we can say, past URL dot query. This is going to give us the parameters in object format. 
Now to get them in array format, we can pass that reference into object.entries to give us an array of arrays. And finally, to get the value of a particular parameter, you can query the query object by the name of the parameter key that you want to get. So in this case, again, I'll query it by key two. So let's test this solution now. I'm going to, first of all, end the request, and then I'm going to restart the server. This time I'm going to start it by calling node node because the name of my script is node, and it's also running on port 3000, so I can make the same request as I did for the express server. And I should get very similar results returned to me in the console. So I'm getting back first the parameters in object format, then as an array of arrays, and finally the value of parameter two. Now for the object, we get a slightly different output this time. So before it is printed object null prototype, and it looks like this might be an error, but it isn't. All it's saying is that this object has no prototype. So there are no methods that you can call on the object. So what this means is it's kind of like a pure data object without any functionality attached to it, apart from having no methods available on it, it can be used in the same way. So you saw that for the property key two, we were able to extract the value by querying that property. So unless you want to call or use methods that would normally exist on an object, this lack of a prototype is not going to affect how you interact with this object in any way. So that is it for this tutorial on how you can get URL parameters in Node.js using Express and Pure Node.js. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button down below this video. It helps us with the algorithm and others to find this video. And if you'd like to see more content like this from us in the future, don't forget you can subscribe to the channel.